Daylight is a URL friendly Mac app and I'd like to show you how well it works with Hookmark. So let's bring up Daylight here on this Frank Blom entry here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy a link to this uh, Frank Blom item in Daylight. Okay, so I'm getting the URL to that. And I'm going to go well over here into uh, Frank Blom's Twitter page. I invoke Hookmark using a keyboard shortcut. And what are we going to do here? We're going to use this handy command called hook to copied link. And what you see is that we've hooked Frank Plome's Twitter page right back to the daylight entry. Double click here and I'm in Frank Plome's contact page. So we still have that information in the buffer. Let's go to Merlin Project because that's where Frank works. And he's a CEO of that actually. And I've already hooked something here in the past. Now I'm going to hook this item again. I'm just going to quickly go here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the daylight entry to Frank Blom's LinkedIn page this time. Now here, let's navigate back to Frank Blom and daylight. Here we are. Notice that we've done that and that we've got these links set up, bi-directional links between Frank Blom and his various web pages. So that's kind of handy. It basically allows me to quickly get back into daylight. Now suppose I'm working on a project here and I've got a hundred files in this website project folder concerning Merlin Wizard. So what I can do is I can bring up Hookmark again and I can actually copy a link. Yes, you can copy a link to a finder folder using Hookmark. And then what I can do is I can associate it with Frank Blom here and I can actually link it. I'm just going to do Command L to do the link command. And now notice that by double clicking on the hooked link, the folder opens in Finder. Here's something I really like doing in Finder. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up the contact entry once again, and I'm going to create a hookmark file. So let's make a hookmark file. A hookmark file is a little bit like an alias. Hookmark files contain links written in plain text. You can read them in a plain text editor. When you double click on a hookmark file in Finder, hookmark opens the link inside the file. Boom, we're back to where we want to be in daylight. So that's handy because what we want to do is have multiple ways to get back into daylight where we have all of our information for our contacts. Now I'd like to show off a deep PDF linking feature. Suppose that Frank and I are collaborating on this project about mental perturbance and I want to direct his attention to, you know, a paragraph that's deeply nested in a PDF file here. I'm going to copy a deep link to the selection in this particular file. When I open the link later, Hookmark will open the file and tell the PDF app to scroll to this particular location in the file. Where am I going to paste this information? Well, I've got some notes prepared here in Daylight because it's very handy for note taking. And I'm going to paste the link right here. Notice that the name of the link is Sensible. It's the file name. I didn't have to format the link myself. So it's right there. And if I click it, it brings me here. Do you want me to prove it? Sure, I'll prove it. So let's try that link again and notice that it auto scrolled. That's a deep link. If you're a lawyer or an academic or anybody else who's got to do a deep dive into a PDF, whether it's for yourself or in a collaborative situation, having deep links is really handy. And with Hookmark, you can basically put that information right in your contact management system. Next, I'd like to illustrate the variety of information that you can connect to a daylight item using Hookmark. So we're going to bring up Hookmark on my friend Brett Terpspra's, what's this? It's his LinkedIn page. Okay, so we're going to double click here and notice that, boom, I'm now in Brett Terpspra's entry in daylight. And uh, I'm going to bring up Hookmark here so you can see all the stuff that I've connected to it. So I've connected an email. I've connected another daylight entry, actually. A bunch of web pages. We've seen before how you can do that. Okay, now we all know that um, Daylight supports a ton of objects, including creating notes. The notes become embedded here, and that's usually what you want to do. But sometimes you want to create a note in Apple Notes because you might want to just pick it up on your iPhone or in iCloud or for whatever reason you might want to do that. So let's bring up hook mark, hook mark here, and then I'm going to use this command, one of my favorite commands, which is hook to new. So bring that up. It's got dot, 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 which means I can select you know, the kind of new object I want. And I'm, in this case, I'm going to, I want an Apple note and boom, I've just created an Apple note, but because I'm doing a demo, it's showed up on a different screen. So I'll show you this. This is the Apple note. Now we've done a number of things here. What's happened is that Hookmark has created the note and it put a link back here, but that's not the link I'm going to use. I'm going to use this link here. Okay. So it's a hook link. It's just telling you that, that this note, 
is connected to this object here. I'm going to double click it and boom, I'm back to the project wizards entry. Very handy. Of course, if I bring up hookmark again, look, this bi-directional link is set up. So then I can basically take my notes to my heart's content. Now, another thing I'd like to illustrate as I bring up hookmark here is that hookmark has a search facility here. So I can click this search button here and I'm going to type URL daylight just to narrow it down. I could have just typed in daylight. So what you're seeing here is a whole bunch of bookmarks to daylight items. And the idea is that whenever hookmark copies a link to something or you use the hook to copy link function or the uh, create hookmark file function, hookmark says, hey, this is important information. The user is saying this is important. So we're going to actually bookmark this. And of course, we also are going to keep the hooks associated with that. So what happens is that hookmark ends up being a repository for all the most relevant information because if you copy a link to something what essentially you have in mind is you're saying you know what this is so important that I want to come back to it that's what links are for right so hookmark becomes a repository of all these things it gives you yet another way to navigate into daylight daylight might not even be running and you might say okay I want to find something in daylight well you bring up this search tool and you say okay I want to get to this entry double click on it boom here it is so I really enjoy this integration with daylight and I enjoyed talking about it and uh, you can come on over to our forum to ask more questions check daylight out and look at this you can invoke a hookmark on a daylight web page and I happen to have linked it to a blog post that we've written here so you can check out this blog post uh, we've written a lot of information about using daylight and hookmark together thank you very much